Hi, Jenny. You sent us your challenge and your version of a classic and average CrossFitters meal. With your permission, we spiced it up a little bit and made you a serious carb load that's tasty and easy to make. So, this is our version of a, of a, of a CrossFit classic. Yep. Uh, some protein, chicken, there are some, some, uh, some, some carbs. Sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes. And then we got some, 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 uh, some, some vegetables, some Brussels sprouts, the hearts are blanched, the leaves are taken off and blanched. We got some raw onions. And for the vinaigrette, for the, for the sauce, we have some fat and nutritious macadamias, some pecan nuts, some, uh, some pomegranate seeds, yeah. some lemon, olive oil, and a little bit of mustard. So in the pan, I added some salt, some pepper, I grated some, some lemon zest, of course it's organic uh, uh, lemons. What I'll do is just take the, the chicken thighs, and actually, I've, as you saw, I left them on the plate, night over, skin side up, and without covering them. And, um, and that, that way, they, they, get, uh, they get very, very easy to try to, to roast really crispy on the skin side, which gives a very delicious uh, sensation when you eat it. Very low heat, leave them there, go out, do your exercise, and come back a little later. So while the chicken thighs are roasting, Let's do the, the dressing or the vinaigrette. If you can do the vinaigrette, I'll yep. chop up the ingredients. And then finally, we're gonna add some, some green herbs. Yeah. And uh, yeah, what do you have to say about that? Green herbs, well, some of the things we're adding here, like some of the Mediterranean spices, and they're anti-inflammatory as well, and they're good for your heart and your circulation. So better blood perfusion means more oxygen, more energy delivered, faster recovery, and because they're anti-inflammatory, less joint pain. Chop it, and while you chop, use a very sharp knife so that you cut the, the, the herbs without crushing them. Add it to the vinaigrette, and boom. So what have happened now, I've roasted the chicken thighs uh, around 45 minutes, low heat, and you have this very, very nice, indulging chicken skin. I just love it. And if you're wondering about how the sweet potatoes have been done, it's pretty simple. So they're roasted whole in the skin. So you put them in the oven in a dish with a bit of water in the bottom and roast them for about 90 minutes at about 180 degrees Celsius, which comes out at about 320 Fahrenheit. And just roast them until they're totally soft and tender and they keep forever so you have them like this and they will keep for four or five days in the fridge with the skin on and then when you want instant sweet potato as you can see you simply peel the skin off and they're really mm -hmm. nice soft go ahead juicy and very very tasty they you know the sweetness really comes out so we just blanched them very uh, quickly in a slightly salted water and there's a reason for that Omar. yeah what happens it well the flavor of course is one thing but also you get a few more of the nutrients out. So if you quick cook, you know, bland stir fry, Brussels sprouts or other crucifers, you actually absorb more of the nutrients in them. So you get more of the folate, you get more of the vitamin K, magnesium, and some of these phytochemicals, some of these plant molecules that are healthy for you, you get a few more when you heat them, but only very shortly. If yeah. you overcook them, they smell and taste like poo and all the good is gone. This is a serious carb load. It is. Serious refeed, a serious meal for anyone. Nutritious, delicious, tasty, and tasty, and easy.